Our word of the day comes from the book of Romans, chapter 13, verses 8 through 10. Romans, chapter 13, verses 8 through 10. It says, Owe no one anything except to love one another, for he who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet, and if there is any other commandment, all are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, this just repeat the first and last verse. Oh, no one anything except to love one another for he who loves one another has fulfilled the law love does no harm to a neighbor therefore love is the fulfillment of the law praise the lord yeah well we can see here a few oh, obviously the most important thing and that is that love is the answer to everything praise the lord and then he highlights the last five commandments notice that this is how the, to sum up the last five commandments is summed up as love your neighbor as yourself. The first five commandments being how to love God and the second, our neighbor, praise the Lord. And we did have some studies this last week about who is our neighbor, and that really is everyone. There is no distinguishing whether we're in the church and out of the church. It's all about love. Love is the answer because God is love. Now, we know this is the golden rule, and there are other so-called religions and everything else that teach the same thing. <laughs> <clears throat> to, to uh, the golden rule is to treat others the way you want to be treated and love them. What's different about the truth? The truth is, in John 15, Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Can we really love our neighbor as God wants us to love them? Can we really love God the way he wants us to love him? Can we? Well, Jesus is telling us right here, we cannot. We can't bear much fruit without him because Galatians 5 says the fruit of the Spirit is love. Joy, peace, love, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Again, against such there is no law. So we see love being a fruit of the Spirit, the number one fruit of the Spirit, the ultimate thing, comes from the Spirit, comes from Jesus, we are just branches. We cannot produce that sap of love inside of ourselves. If we're not attached to him and he is not doing it through us, it's impossible. And that's the difference between the truth and all these other things where they teach the golden rule, but we're incapable of doing it on our own. We love when we feel love. We love when, when we get something out of it. But to love the way God does only can come from God through us. Therefore, we must decrease that he might increase. As the old man in us dies, the spirit man that comes from God comes to life, and that love is manifest on earth. So, Lord, we thank you for this reminder. If we try to be good and fulfill the law, the only way to do it is to love, and that love must come from you. So help us recognize this. Help us lay down our lives. And you Finish this work for us, Lord. Do it in us. Let the world see you in us as your love flows through us. Give us conviction when we're operating from our flesh. Uh, even the kind of love, the agape, or no, not agape love is from you. The phileo or other types of love that comes from us, it's just not sufficient and it's temporary and it will fade. But your love never fades. Your love is complete because you are love. And we thank you for this. Please, love through us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's our word of the day. Praise the Lord.